fast moving targets and the innovation station are present at the border sessions an event in the hague a two-day event with lots of interesting uh, uh, speakers and a lot of them will be uh, visiting our uh, studio here um, uh, to talk about uh, uh, well the subjects they are passionate about uh, june yamadera uh, you just did your uh, talk on the stage here your shirt says reinvent uh, the wheel that that is what you were talking about what uh, well how do you reinvent the wheel Yes, uh, I come from uh, Fukushima, and then, as you know, we have a very tragic accident of the uh, uh, earthquake and the tsunami and the uh, nuclear uh, accident in uh, five years ago. Uh, so my project is to uh, be made the wheel, is uh, share bike kind of programs in the cities, yeah. so that people pay attention to uh, more kind of sustainable uh, big cities and the uh, change of the last one mile of mobility of the big cities and the uh, data set from the citizen science because my bicycle has uh, uh, radiations and environmental sensors on the bike so that uh, bike riders just riding on the street then we collect all the data of the uh, environment yeah. of your city. So, so what? So you, you you just gave an example, but what are, are the data you are collecting? What 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 are the sensors uh, in the bike? Uh, yes. Uh, so far, uh, the kind of project starts from uh, Fukushima. So first, we focus on the radiations, but uh, we are not sticking on just for the radiation because uh, what has uh, lots of kind of problems. Uh, like uh, uh, air pollution or city noise kind of things. So now we're collecting data of the uh, radiations and then temperature, humidity, CO, NOx, air pressure. Yeah. And what can you do with, with the data? Collecting is one thing, but what, 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 then, what then? Yeah, um, this is a kind of very important uh, point because uh, we have uh, such kind of uh, environmental data from the government, but uh, last uh, lesson of the Fukushima uh, tells you uh, the trust issues because nobody in uh, Japan uh, believes uh, government says. Yeah. So uh, we have a kind of counter kind of opinions or counter data uh, of the uh, government and then we collect the data of more kind of democratic ways yeah. so that we distribute a share bike and then a user just ride a bicycle and then they cannot even don't think about it but uh, they just ride a bike for fun and then we collect data yeah. so uh, that's visualize how your city is kind of polluted or not yeah and um, so, so but how, how many uh, bikes uh, uh, are there uh, yeah uh, we are still kind of uh, working on the fundraising and then we propose uh, our idea to uh, uh, country like uh, US of course Japan and the uh, Asian countries and the uh, city of Paris and uh, we have some kind of prototype of the bicycle uh, several bikes but uh, uh, we do uh, start from a very small experience right now. Yeah so you need you need money to, to, yeah. to uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay this is of course interesting and like you say it is you started this because where you come from mm -hmm. um, but of course when you uh, when you can uh, track uh, bicycles, where they're going, what they're doing, etc. Mm. You, you can learn a lot about uh, the, the, the traffic in the mm. city, about how people move, mm, what are yeah, the best yeah. routes, etc. So what other possibilities do you do you see that mm. you could do with a bicycle and, and collecting data? Yeah, um, um, biggest issue of the share bike uh, program is not, uh, not, it's not so sustainable in a business wise. Yeah. So uh, that's why I reinvent the wheel. So I put uh, LED on the wheel so that I can display uh, advertisement depends on the location or time yeah. so that we got uh, another revenue source which makes a uh, share bike program is more uh, sustainable in a business wise and uh, uh, another kind of way uh, advantage is uh, you if you we uh, ride a bicycle uh, we can uh, get uh, all the kind of uh, big data of the tourists uh, where, where to go kind of things yeah. and uh, we have uh, uh, something like a, a dynamic pricing uh, model like Uber uh, so that uh, if you uh, ride a bicycle uh, on a downhill we charge more and then if you ride a bicycle on the uphill yeah. we give big discounts kind of thing so that we uh, reduce uh, the traffic jam of the uh, bicycle stands which okay. is a, a biggest issue yeah um, 
<coughs> yeah, well, that, that's a nice example because mm. uh, uphill or downhill is a, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a big yeah, difference. Yeah, nobody, yeah. Uh, nobody like uh, uphill, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, so, 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 so where you where you live? Um, uh, how big is cycling? Because, like you say, pollution is an issue, of course. Mm. Because maybe. Mm. Uh, so, are, are people willing to uh, to, to bicycle? Oh uh, yeah. Um, my city is quite small, but uh, uh, for instance, Tokyo has a big uh, problem when we had the earthquakes. So many people has no idea how to get back home because uh, such kind of big city, people commute very uh, far from that, yeah. far from home. So uh, I had some kind of lady who walk by with a high heel more than six hours to get home. That's yeah. kind of ridiculous, right? And then uh, we're going to have a Tokyo Olympic prison uh, 2020. Yeah. But uh, uh, the kind of earthquakes uh, shows us we need uh, some kind of alternatives of the mobility in the last one mile of the big cities. So um, like uh, London, uh, London has a, a very good uh, bicycle policy to change uh, London Olympics, uh, very successful. So uh, I think uh, big city like uh, Tokyo or Beijing or some other countries uh, should have a bicycle uh, as a kind of platform. Yeah. So that's uh, more like a kind of public domain kind of ideas. Yeah. So that's my kind of ideas. Yeah. Um, uh, in, in Holland, uh, a lot of pe people use uh, uh, the bicycle. Mm -hmm. uh, so have you been uh, cycling yourself already here? Uh, yes, uh, but uh, I have uh, one complaint uh, because when uh, I like to get a uh, uh, bike, uh, I, I wanted to rent a bike. Uh, they asked me to use a passport or credit card. Yeah. You know, but uh, you know, I don't want to leave my passport or credit card. So uh, uh, the lending a bicycle should be more kind of friendly and then uh, more kind of easy way to go. Yeah. So now, uh, like Uber or kind of Airbnb shows uh, how apps or kind of smart homes uh, gives you uh, more kind of uh, easy access to the um, IoT or some other devices or some other services. Yeah. So. Uh, I have a kind of solutions for that. So yeah. uh, um, if you are kind of bike share uh, providers uh, in Holland, uh, please come to me and then I have solutions yeah. for that. And, and your solution is, 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 a, is a platform yeah. uh, where you bring uh, well, people with bikes and people yeah. needing a bike uh, yeah. uh, together. And then uh, we have a, a LED on a, a wheel so that uh, I make uh, their business more kind of uh, more profitable. Yeah. Because most of the share bike program is just rent the bike and then somebody steals the bike or uh, somebody uh, breaks the bike. You know, it's not a good business, but no. uh, we have a very smart uh, solution for the sensors, uh, GPS kind of things we can track and the even we can display, oh, this guy is stealing my bike on the wheel of the uh, using LED. So, yeah. Please welcome. Please uh, steal my bike, and then I can display uh, my message. This on, bike uh, is stolen. Then you can yeah. say this bike is stolen on yeah, the yeah, bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a good. Uh, that's a good. Idea. So uh, and, and and this bit. So you all you you have that uh, that working and up and running. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and is it your so? What's your goal with this? You want to be an international? Uh, you want to be the Uber of uh, bike sharing? Ah uh, yes. Um, the I. A sharing uh, economy is a kind of global phenomenon and then share bike is a kind of way to go because uh, big cities like uh, Oslo, city of Oslo, decided to not to have a car in a city center pretty yeah. soon and then uh, Paris has uh, no car day uh, every every year and then kind of, it's a kind of world kind of trend so uh, bicycles should be a more important kind of platform infrastructure of the uh, big cities uh, so that's the way uh, I I go. Yeah, and in your case, to, to, to give an idea, because you, you, for example, when you go to to England, uh, uh, there you have the, the system where you have a certain cart, and then you can make a reservation for the bicycle, mm -hmm. and you can and you can put it uh, back somewhere else. Right. But that's is, is that what you are, yep. uh, or or is it are you the uh, 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 or, or are you the Airbnb of, uh, of, of bicycles? Yeah, I mean, we have a B, uh, B2B model, like uh, we uh, offer uh, some kind of solution for the uh, share bike providers. And then also we have another idea, B2C uh, ideas or C2C ideas. So if uh, I, I'm kind of here, yeah. so I don't have a bike, but maybe you have a bike here. Yeah. And then, you, of course, you're working right now, so you don't need to uh, use a bike for yeah. now. So I can rent you a bike 
uh, using a micro payment so that you get a little bit kind of revenues. Yeah. So it's more like uh, sharing uh, each bike, yeah. uh, not as a kind of uh, share bike providers, but uh, if I'm a kind of hipster, and if you're a hipster, yeah. you like a very cool bike, yeah. unlike uh, you know, uh, ordinary kind of share bikes. So uh, then uh, such kind of hipsters can uh, exchange uh, their bike each other. Yeah. Okay, really interesting. Uh, okay, so what do you need for your um, uh, for, for your other initiative around, uh, say, reinvent the wheel, the mm -hmm. sensors, the data, etc. You said I'm, uh, at the moment I'm in the fun fundraising mm -hmm. uh, uh, process. So, um, what do you need to roll it out in a bigger way? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I really need a kind of help of uh, um, investors to make my kind of dream come true. And then this is not the kind of uh, my kind of personal uh, motivations, but uh, uh, the share bike or kind of a sustainable society is a kind of way to go. And then I really like to uh, fix all the kind of problem of the big cities, like uh, um, air pollution or the environmental issues or traffic jam. And then also uh, if we have a big earthquakes again, uh, how we escape. Uh, everything. So um, that's funny, isn't it? Because you say there are a lot of different uh, uh, pro pro problems uh, we uh, uh, we have, mm. and for a lot of them, the bicycle is the uh, solution. Yeah, and then uh, the basic part is bicycle should be fun, right? Yeah. Uh, I uh, when I was a uh, kid, uh, I really like uh, riding a bicycle every single day. Mm -hmm. So bicycle riding a bicycle should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you very much. Uh, I, I think. Uh, it is fun, um, uh, and uh, if you're watching now, we do interviews. Uh, uh, yeah, it's taken, but you have to sw switch it on. Someone is uh, putting up a headphone because the thing is, we've got something here in the Netherlands that's called Silent Disco. You will have it in, in, uh, in other countries as well, and people, if they want, they can uh, uh, well gr grab a headphone and listen to uh, the talks we are uh, doing uh, over here. Um, more interviews later today and uh, tomorrow, and you, of course, you can. Uh, 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 Watch them on our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.